Beaumont is selling arms, period. Why? Now, either you print this story or I'm taking a hike. Ugh. Sorry, fellas, the dance car door filled up. Tell me about my daughter. Ah! You find Keller and McAllister and get rid of them. Let's get out of here. Good idea. They'll be right behind you. They laid the whole thing out right in front of me. And the knowledge of it will die with me. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. John Peter McAllister, the only Occidental American ever to achieve the martial arts discipline of a ninja. Once part of a secret sect, he wanted to leave, but was mocked for death by his fellow ninjas. But he escaped. He's searching for a daughter he didn't know he had. Pursued by Okasa, once the master's student, now sworn to kill him. The master found a new student. That's me, Max Kelvin. But we knew Okasa would be behind us, in the shadows, ready to strike again. My name is Okasa. I'm looking for John Peter McAllister. A master like yourself. I must have proof. You are indeed McAllister's student. You are willing? Hi, I'm Max Keller. As you can see, Okasa was still behind us, trying to discover the master's whereabouts. As deadly as ever. Clearly, you are the master's pupil. He was here two days ago. You must tell me where he's staying. He departed for New Orleans, I believe. Something about a newspaper story. His daughter. New Orleans. <laughs> You know, the girl in this picture doesn't have to be your daughter. Same name, same dark hair, slender, flies a plane. And hanging out with what? A Mideastern gun runner and a rich crook? Or so she told the reporter, Eve Michaels. You're hoping it isn't my daughter. Aren't you? Just a little? If it is her, she's into some serious trouble. Then we'll get her out of it. I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Say, listen, you want me to pull over and undo those ropes? Why? That thing must be shrunk tight as a drum by now. Double knots? Even Houdini couldn't get out of there. Houdini used ninja escape techniques. Junin Taiso. Ancient method of conditioning. Stretching, flexing. Even the body can move if you let it. There you go. Fantastic. When we get to New Orleans, you'll teach me this? <laughs> if we get there. You missed your turn off about a mile back. With your eyes closed? Well, let's hope you don't get lost in the Mardi Gras. I have to be out of my mind to put further accusations like these. Oh, come on, Sam. If Beaumont wasn't guilty of what Miss McAllister says he is, he would have had us in court the day after the first Dory appeared. Maybe. And maybe he's got so much class to even acknowledge it. Or maybe he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. Are you sure you're not letting your partner's disappearance cloud your judgment? Oh, come on, Sam. That's got nothing to do with this. I mean, I believe there's wait some... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about this uh, McAllister gal? What do we really know about her? She's the best source I've ever had. I've checked and double-checked. Look, Beaumont is selling arms, period. Austin Beaumont. Old line family, candidate for state senator, worth maybe, what, 50 mil? Why? He's broke. It's all in there. Look, Sam, this is a big one. My big one. Now, either you print this story or I'm taking a hike. That's what I was waiting to hear you say. I'm going to run it tomorrow morning, but you have to do me a favor. This uh, Miss McAllister is a little vague about this meeting with uh, what's his name, Fousey. Now I want dates, times, and places. Sure, I'll get back to you just as soon as I talk to her. She's safe. Bye, Sam. You're a doll. Evie. In case I haven't told you, you're a hell of a guy. I'm not a bad reporter. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is don't get your hopes up too high. Max, they are my hopes. Most fathers meet their daughters when they're born. And yes, I am scared. I know. But she might not even like me. I might not even like her. You figure she and her mother get along? I don't know anybody that can get along with Laura Kennedy. For about two months there, I thought I did. The Korean War, right? Yeah. Then one morning, she was gone. Just like that. And 29 years later, you discover you're a father. Doesn't everybody? No! Oh, oh, my my God. God. Oh, you're coming with us. Save it for later. Good idea. Let him go. Out of the way, kid. You should listen to him. He makes a lot of sense. License plate. Listen, thank you. I meet Michaels. You're kidding. I'm John Peter McAllister. I talked to you by phone. I'm Terry McAllister's father. Oh, I didn't expect you. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. Your daughter told me all about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Any idea what that was all about? Several. All named Beaumont. Let's get her out of here.
sometimes reporters are a little too pushy for their own good. About Beaumont. Are you sure Austin Beaumont is dealing in drugs and arms? You got all this from Terry? Not all. I have a writing partner, Ellen Perry. He disappeared two weeks ago. Beaumont? I haven't proven it yet. Ellen was in Zurich researching Beaumont's connections there. I know Beaumont grabbed him. Are the police on to him? Forget it. Why do you think I haven't bothered calling them about the fun and games in the parking lot? You suggest Beaumont is anything less than a saint in this town, and they're ready to lock you up. So you see, Mr. McAllister really is... Mm, McAllister, huh? It's got a nice ring. Well, how do you like my pipes? Oh, no, not just me. Uh, my daddy was really the first. He played cornet with King Oliver and Isham Jones. You fellas got the good fortune to be seeing New Orleans at her absolute best. Flowers in her hair, kicking up her skirts, singing and dancing like there's no tomorrow. And if you don't have the time of your lives, I'm coming after you, you hear? I wouldn't risk it. Mm, smart move. <laughs> well, it's nice talking to you. Have a nice time here. You said her nickname's Blind Will? She only sees what she wants to see, which is just about anything that goes on in New Orleans. Leroy Hodges! <laughs> I knew it was you. I'm sorry. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Pardon me, but... Oh, same old kidder, Leroy, aren't you? <laughs> uh, sorry, ma'am, but... It's me. Harriet Cooper? Well, formally. <laughs> went and married Lester Milburn, because you wouldn't give me a tumble. <laughs> Mrs. Milburn, uh, I think you've made a mistake. <laughs> oh, sure I am. <laughs> Len's sakes, when did Bernice and Alice see you? <laughs> oh, Billy Goose, that's my sisters. I told them all about you. They're here, in New Orleans, with me. Enjoy yourself. Mrs. Milburn, but uh, you can see that I... Uh... Oh, certainly. I, I see you're busy. Uh, we're staying at the Chelsea. I'll call you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now, look, I'll put you together with your daughter just as soon... No, you look, Miss Michaels. I'll take full responsibility for Terry's safety. I just want you to tell us where she is now. I don't know where she is, not right at this moment. Yeah, but you said... She got nervous. She insisted on moving. I won't be hearing from her for at least 24 hours, but when I do, I'll let you know. Immediately. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to polish up some copy for tomorrow's paper. 24 hours, then. Listen, I'll walk you back to your office. Uh, thanks. But I don't think Beaumont will be trying again. At least not until he sees tomorrow's paper. Another time, Max? That girl's right about one thing. Austin Beaumont's a bad dude. Runs in his family. You know him? Know him? <laughs> My great-great-grandmother was a slave on the Beaumont's plantation. Where is the plantation? Oh, upriver a few miles. There isn't much left no more but the manor house and a few acres. But Beaumont's big on keeping up appearances. Remember that. Let's go. Leroy, remember the afternoon you got me to cut chemistry class? How could I forget? <laughs> Leroy must have been some kind of animal. Maybe you ought to call her. for tomorrow's festivities. You suppose they'd notice a couple extra guests? You asking me for a date? And me without a thing to wear. Now you'll think of something. <laughs> I just adore all this, Austin. 
A pity more of our crowd doesn't observe the old tradition. Ah, yes, a pity indeed, Mrs. Farley. Thank you for appreciating my little gesture. I hope you'll remember it come election time. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't recall inviting you, sir. An oversight, no doubt. I assume the $2 million I advanced you will cover my modest appetite for food and drink. Get out. No, Mr. Beaumont, I want my guns. My people are becoming nervous. I am nervous. My sources inform me that the arms shipment will remain in New Orleans for only two more days. I love your costume, darling. So macho. I try. Mr. Beaumont. Yes. Where the hell have you been? Did you get it? Splendid. Are you sure it's the right one? Good. 10 a.m. Beauregard. You'll have your order by tomorrow night. Hey, we gotta get out of here. Casa. Yeah! 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 Clever costume, the ninja. Interesting subculture. It goes back to the 16th century. Some say even before. Beyond recorded history. My name's John Peter McAllister. McAllister, should I, uh... Terry's father. What is this? Some sort of joke. The Michaels woman, she put you up to this, didn't she? Tell me about my daughter. Crow. He was in the parking lot. He saved the reporter. He saw his friend outside. Would you show Mr. McAllister to the study? Can I take a rain check? I've got something real great for relieving tension. <laughs> OK, killer, come with us. Sorry, fellas, the dance car door filled up. Captain, there you are. Cynthia, they said you weren't gonna be here. Really, uh, be right back, fellas, no problem. It's just... Ah! <laughs> oh, I like your approach. I like the way you swim. Catch you later. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere, can I? Told you I was fun at parties. Glad you dropped by. Okay, that was the 14th, Ashad Ben Fauzi and Beaumont. And they met where? Thanks, Terry. That's terrific. I'll get back to you later. There you go. Four clandestine meetings. Times, dates. As best as she can remember, of course. Great. Plug it into your story. We got to press in 20 minutes. And good night. Gonna nail Beaumont this time. Good work, Eve. Sorry, Sam. Seen the paper, Mr. Beaumont? I've seen it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it.
More allegations by that crazy reporter and the McAllister woman. If I did half of what they say I did, we wouldn't have to rob the armory. By tonight, it'll all be academic, Mr. Beaumont. The guns will be delivered, you'll be on your way to Brazil. What did you get on Keller? He's a drifter, he carries us home in that van. And the older one, McAllister? Either that isn't his name or he doesn't own anything but the clothes on his back. And there was no connection with the Michaels woman? Except for rescuing her in the parking lot, no. All right, all right. Look, you and Hedison better get moving. If you blow that pickup, we could just fold our tents. Yes, sir. You find Keller and McAllister and get rid of them. They're making me nervous. There's something about that old man right here. I feel it. You wouldn't understand. You'd be surprised what I understand. What do you want done about Eve Michaels? Pick her up. Getting too close to the truth. Beauregard. Beauregard, Beauregard. There's no street named Beauregard. Maybe it's not a street. Beauregard Park. Well, we got eight minutes. Step on it. This it everybody's after better be good. Well, it might just give us some leverage with Beaumont. Maybe enough to get Terry out of danger. Is that him? Jacket over the arm? Yeah, that's our courier. Mr. Beaumont? We're his associates. Your money's all here. Now what? My purse snatcher imitation? Try this. Okay, okay, now. Ah! Hey! What? What? Hey. I love it. They never knew what hit him. Hey. How come I'm so out of breath and you? Why am I asking? Airline ticket. That's it? That's it. Trans Columbia flight BG4727. Be Austin. Now it's got to be Beaumont. From LA to New York. But he's here. What's an airline ticket have to do with an illegal arms sale? Eve may know. And we'll split up. You try your office, I'll try your apartment. I don't know what Beaumont will do when he finds that's missing. Right. We'll meet at Blind Willie's. I'm on my way. Master! Oh, Casa. You have an uncanny habit of showing up at the wrong moment. I did not start this game, Master. It was you who chose to betray the ninjutsu tradition. To betray our secrets. You betrayed your own integrity, Okasa. There's no glory in the old days. We could do a couple hours on that one. But we will not. Because in a moment, you will be dead. Yeah!
My sentiments exactly. Does it mean anything to you? Less than nothing. Well, you can bet it means a lot to Beaumont. Now, look, what about Terry McAllister? Have you heard from her yet? No, not yet. You said 24 hours. She hasn't called. Look, Max, don't press it. Please. Put him in there. Come on. Eve, what's up? Nothing. Pressure, that's all. Look, why don't you just tell me? What? The truth about the Master's daughter. The Master's daughter? McAllister. Look, he means a lot to me, and I don't want him hurt by anyone. I don't want to hurt him. Just Beaumont. We'll help you, Eve. Just level with me. I'm scared. Tough reporter, huh? It's OK to be scared. It's healthy. It took me a long time to learn that. Hey! Very, very touching. Oh. Hey, what's going on down there? Hey, let's get out of here. Honey, this is really Moreau you're talking to, and I know what costs what. Now, if you're going to do business with me, you're going to have to... <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. Now, don't you feel better? Now, what I want you to do is... Hey, wait, I'll catch you later. Oh, my God! What happened to you? Come on over here. Thanks. Easy now. Who did this to you? You need a motive, Lieutenant? Look at the stuff Eve's been printing about Beaumont. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Sam, I got to tell you, I never thought you'd be a party to this garbage journalism. I mean, like that Michael's bimbo isn't exactly a picture of accuracy, is she? And for someone like you to be accusing Austin Beaumont, I mean, you are about as reliable as a, a Bayou fortune teller. I just ran a rap sheet on you, Keller. You got yourself a record of disorderly and disturbing from here to Idaho. You might have noticed there were no convictions. Sure, I know. You were set up. Just make sure you stay in town for a few days. Count on it, Lieutenant. I mean, somebody's got to find Eve Michaels, right? Phillips, how long is it going to take you to access that thing? It's not a mom and pop store we're breaking into. This is a complicated code. Well, hurry. You want to try running it yourself? I'm sorry. I'm just eager to see if this little number is going to do the job. The proximity of success. You seem very serene for someone in your position, Miss Michaels. I've won. I've done what I set out to do. Smoke you out, get you to make a wrong move. Costly effort, don't you think? Like it was for Ellen Perry. That reporter who was snooping in Zurich? My partner. A pity. He was overly curious about certain deposits I was making in Swiss banks. I figured. Money from Ashad Ben Fauzi for terrorist weapons you were stealing for him. Oh, you're very good, aren't you? Tenacious, single-minded, the kind of journalist who wins awards. Except they don't give Pulitzers for what you've been writing, do they? Maybe not. But they do give nice, long jail sentences for kidnapping. Well, you weren't kidnapped, Miss Michaels. You just disappeared off the face of the earth. Take her to the garage. Better than the hospital, ain't it? And cheaper, too. Fewer questions. <laughs> Not fair. BG4727. How's that? The number got a wrong note in it somewhere. I gotta go find Max. So... <laughs> no way, honey. You've lost a lot of blood. I'm going to go out front and tend to business. And I want you to rest up a while, you hear?
You don't get any smarter, do you? That's it. That's what's wrong with it. With what, honey? You having a nightmare? No, 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 no. The airline ticket, BG 4727. It's a phony. Say again. I knew a stewardess once. Got to know her flight schedule pretty well. You have a flight number BG 4727, LA to New York. Thanks. He was right. There's no such flight. LA to New York, west to east, the numbers are usually even. The odd numbers go the other way. Then what does it mean? A code probably to do what? Beats me. I was coming to tell you that Sam Bell would call. Eve Michaels was kidnapped a while ago. And Max? Went out to Beaumont. I suppose it wouldn't do much good trying to stop you from going. No, Willie, it wouldn't. Sit here. Take my call and be careful. I got you into this. Level four. We're logged on. Good. The command to deactivate the alarm system. Now we'll see if this thing really works. <laughs> yes. Captain, we got a problem here. No, wait a, wait a second. Let's strike that, Captain. It was a glitch, I guess. All right, we'll move as planned, just after dark. Now it's time to dispose of Mr. Keller and the reporter. If anyone knows Keller came out here, they won't find a thing. I meant it, Eve. No more deception. It's show and tell. You don't have Terry McAllister stashed anywhere, do you? How did you know? The stalling, the lame excuses. I feel awful. Look what I've done to you. Not to mention the way you played around with the old man's emotions. You made up all that stuff you wrote about Beaumont? Not all, Max. I mean, I was just being a little creative, you know, filling in the blanks. I mean, I saw him with Fauzi. Ellen, my partner, found out that Fauzi was buying guns. I'm just sorry I got you involved. Terry McAllister? You just pulled that name out of the air? Yes. No, I thought I was making it up. I did a story about a year ago about a woman's air race. She was in it. I guess the name just stuck in my mind. Wonderful. The airline ticket. It was a code to break the alarm system at the armory. They have a special storeroom full of top secret small arms, the latest stuff. They've got an inside man. They're gonna run in an army truck like they're making a delivery. When the alarm is disarmed, the inside man will open the store area and out they go with the whole shipment. Military precision. There's no way we'll get them. Not unless we can stop the truck from ever getting inside. They laid the whole thing out right in front of me and the knowledge of it'll die with me. Us. I have a little faith, pretty lady. I'm gonna get us both out of here. How does it make it look so easy? Who? McAllister. Come on. Come on. The body knows how to move it. Just let it. What? It's easy for him to say. I'm gonna find us another way.
Get your heart out of it, Dini. to the police? It's their word against ours. A newspaper woman who's after my blood and two transients? They won't try it. We'll deal with them after the armory. I want this operation stepped up. We hit in one hour. It's the armory on 2nd Street. Eve, you go to the police. Try to convince them. We'll head for the armory. Saving my life is becoming a habit. I'm not sure I'm worth it. Not to you. I've got to talk to you, Mr. McAllister. I've got Eve. to Eve. Later, please. Taking the guns. Where? Beaumont's boat. Pier 14. Marco. Marco. We're getting out of here. Let's get us off. Get the power line, Kroll. All right. Oh. 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 
What have I done? Keller, I owe you an apology. A big one. Spare a towel? You said Terry told you all about me. Aside from my living in Japan, she doesn't know anything about me or my life. And you never let on. I was curious. You didn't strike me as a girl who built her career on fabricated stories. I guess I was obsessed with Nellie Beaumont after my partner's disappearance. Well, now I'm sorry. But your allegations have been proved now. That's not good enough. There's something called ethics, integrity. I'll have to tell my editor. Some people wouldn't. How can I ever thank you or Max? Oh, he'll have an idea. <laughs> I hope so. It's the best thing to happen to me in a long time. Me too. What about you and your daughter? Can I help? Well, if you hear of any leads, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Honey, you can forget about leads for a while. I don't think that party of yours is going anywhere. <laughs> it's Mardi Gras. Really boom. It gets in your blood. Poor thing. I bet you've been calling and calling. We moved to a different hotel. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna make your day. 